I'm dripping junket. How are you all doing? I'm Ralph here, Ralph is Reviews, Team No Steep. I'm going to do a tutorial today, not the one for a little while. Um, I think what, what can happen with a lot of reviewers um, and a lot of people that do tutorials is, is they move along, as they progress from starter packs through to different tanks, through to sub tanks, through to drippers, through to wherever they end up. They tend to forget that not everybody's in that same bracket. Um, I know I've been a little bit guilty of that just lately. So today we're going to revisit Kanga Tank Sub Tank. This is the plus. Um, if you remember, when they first brought them out, there were all sorts of problems. Um, and they, they had trouble with the insulators and brought the plus out to get rid of it. Then the mini, then the nano, and then they've, they've done loads. There's a thing in my blog, which I'll, uh, if I remember, I'll post a, a link to in the description. Um, it's an article I... I wrote to explain why in a world of ever-changing and ever-evolving devices this particular Kangatek sub tank this brand and this uh, this product still sells like you won't believe why hasn't it been left behind go and have a read if you're interested anyway what we're going to do today we're going to look at the RBA deck the rebuildable deck not everybody wants to keep shelling out for coils every week or two weeks or however long they last and a lot of people like me really, really like to build. So the great, you know, you, you get the RBA deck with these. It comes as standard, so you can twiddle away to your art's content. You can save a few coffers if you uh, if you need to, and still get a really, really good vape. We'll get down and personal as always, and I'll build one up, and uh, you can see how I do it. So I'll see you in a minute. Okay, folks. So. We're going to need about 6 inches of canthal, I like to use 0.4 or 26 gauge, works out well for me. We're going to need a little screwdriver, you know one of those blue jobbies that are rubbish but they're great for this. We need a pair of side cutters or flush cutters, 2.5 millimeter screwdriver to wrap our coil around and of course we're going to need the RBA deck itself. Now this comes apart, it's in three bits. It's got the top collar, just there. It's got, I suppose you call it a chamber, just there. And then it's got the actual deck that you build on, just there. Yeah. So we'll wrap a coil and then we'll build it up. So, as always, we'll take a bit of canthol and a screwdriver. I like to go start from behind with her misses. Some people start on front, everyone to their own. And all I'm gonna do is five wraps. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, not the prettiest wraps in the world. But we don't need to worry about that. See how they're not tight? We're not making a micro coil, we're making a spaced coil. Now, people who are into their temperature controlled, which I'm not, I don't like the way that it vapes, will know all about spaced coils. And we've got one lead going up, one lead going down. Obviously, that's how it's fitted into the deck. So, we're just going to tease this around a little bit. And just get it as neat as we can. It's not going to be perfect, but that is not too shabby there. Yeah, cool beans. How easy is that? Really, really easy. Now we'll get a deck. Um, just to steady it up, we're going to screw it onto the bottom part of the sub tank because there's not a lot to get hold of, and this will help. I'd actually do it on top of an atomizer, but I'm going to struggle to film it on top of the atomizer. So we'll suck it and see. We'll loosen these lock screws off as far as they'll go without falling out. So about there. 
Same on this one. Watch this one fall out, go down the hole and all that. Yeah? And that will let us pass the wires around those heads. And it is just simply a case of getting the coil in the centre, one lead under one screw, one lead under the other. Yeah. Hold it with your fingers. Tighten them up. Mm -hmm. Nice and tight. Don't go mad. As I've said before, you're not putting a new tyre on your car. A new wheel on your car even. So we've not quite got that one. I'm just going to back that off. I'm going to pull the lead round to the side a little. So I make sure I trap it under that head. Same for this one. Yeah, it's not quite got it. So we'll slacken that off. And we'll just pull the lead round a little bit. And that'll trap it under the head. Do do do. Okay, take our screwdriver out of the way for now. Now I'm going to make sure that they're proper tight. So they're only tiny. Don't go mad. A little blue screwdriver is our friend in this case because it won't let us over tighten those screws. And we're going to. We can either twist and twizzle, which is what I like to do. Or we can get in there with some real posh flush cups or a nice pair of nail clippers, which I don't possess. Look, let me just get that one again. Always the same. I've done it hundreds of times, never had a problem. As soon as you press record, it all goes wrong. Sod's law. Get that tight. Give him a twizzle. No. Get him with a flush cut, sod it. Get him with a flush cut. And it's really, really important. You see this little tail? We need to make sure that that's not sticking out. So that's going to catch the inside of the chamber. So I'm going to bend that with my finger, nail, as far as I can. Finish it off with a screwdriver. Hold it in place. Tighten it up. Jobs are good. And now look how fugly that coil looks. Look, looks like one of the kids has made it, don't it? Not to worry. Take our screwdriver that we wrapped it round, pass it back through the coil, and smarten him up. Give him a little push here and there, and a pull here and there, and twist him, and and get him looking a lot, lot neater. Yeah. Now if we look from the side, what I want to do is push that down. We want a good gap between the coil and that centre airflow hole, something around there. Yeah? If we have him too high, it's going to get all funky. If we have him too low, it's going to short out and not work properly. So we've got five wraps of 0.4 or 26 gauge canthor around a two and a half mil bit. We've slapped it in there, nice and spaced. There's a nice gap underneath. Jobs are good on. All we need to do now is wick it up. So, I'm going to use this Muji cotton. We do these peelable pads, and there's about four sheets to a pad. And all you have to do is peel one off, tear yourself a strip that you guess is going to be a nice fit. Now, I want just less than half, so something about there, yeah? Now, we can twist on one end, nice and tight, and just neaten the rest of it up to really, really use your friendly. So, just like that, get your coil, feed him in, pull him through, And the jobs are good and that's great. Can we fit the uh, chamber? So we do the old bunny ears, yeah? Pull them up. Get your chamber. These go on either way, but I like, I'm a bit anal, so I want the writing 
the right way up when it's all fitted together. So we'll just twist them together a little bit. Stick the chamber on. Screw the chamber down. And then we're ready to cut those off. We get a pair of scissors. And what I like to do is trim them so they're just a little bit longer than the chamber is tall. So there's just a bit poking out the top when you've done. Kind of like that. Yeah? Now I'm going to pull this off camera and give it a blow. I just wanted to fluff them up a little bit, those cut ends. As you know, I'm a huge fan of the old capillary action and cutting them compresses the ends and they don't, uh, com they don't capillary, that's not a real word is it? They don't draw fluid in as well, we lose some of the fluffiness. Anyway, there's your bunny ears poking up all nice and fluffy, yeah. We're going to tuck them in, we're going to grab hold of the end and push him down on both of these, like that, all the way in, all the way down to that deck. Same again this side. Grab the ends, push him down, all the way down to the deck. Just the ends, don't worry about the bit right next to the coil. If we get a bit of a pillow, a bit of a bulge in the cotton right next to the coil, then so much the better. Now, there's a really important bit. I'm just going to wet this a little bit. So, I'm getting here with the juice, and we'll just pre-soak him a bit. We don't need to flood him. I'm going to use this juice as a bit of glue to help me form this quite how I want it. You see, there's juice channels. I don't know if the camera will pick them up. The juice channel is either side of the deck, bang opposite where the coil is. So I'm going to put the screwdriver right down the side of the chamber until I reach the base. And I'm just going to give myself a little bit of space right on that juice channel. So I'm clearing the way for the juice. That way it should wick. Beautifully, let's see if that will focus. I bet it won't. But you get the picture, yeah? So, stick him on a mod and see what occurs. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so that's screwed on there, nice and firm. Give it a quick test fire. There you go. Yeah? Nothing wrong with that, and we're running it. Focus 0.5 ohms, which is bang on as per the standard uh, coils. So, all that remains is to pop this top on the chamber, test fire again just to make sure. There we go, just to make sure that we've not uh, thrown a spanner in the works with that. And we'll build it up, have a quick vape, and talk about. How it is. See you in a minute. So there you have it. I built it all up. Left it for a minute. Just have a good soak. Let's have a vape. That's bang on that is. That flavour's bang on. This Moody Cotton works really well. The Canthor works really well. It's a nice size in that 26 gauge. 0 0.4. Um, it's flexible enough that you can get it in there and you can trim it flush and move it around as much as you want. But the resistance comes in, what's this, 0 0.6? Yeah, 0 0.6 ohms, which is pretty close to 0 0.5. Um, obviously, you could use nichrome, you can use thicker wire, you can use thinner wire. You can really, really adapt it to suit your preferred sweet spot. And what's that just cost? What, we do a pack of these for... Four quid, four pounds on it, which is going to do re, do that build ten times. You use six inches of cantho, it's got your pennies, pennies to rebuild that. And the flavour, like I say, is on point, absolutely banging. So there you go, that's how I rebuild the RBA on the Kangatech Subtank range. 
cost pennies, fun to do, only takes a few minutes. I'm usually a lot more fluid, but things are difficult to uh, capture on camera sometimes. Once you've done it yourself a few times, you'll really, really get that down. You can tweak it, you can uh, adapt it, you can get it absolutely spot on. Either way, you can have fun doing it. Worst comes to worst, you don't like it, chuck a standard coil head in. You know, you've lost very, very little and had a little bit of fun along the way. Have a good one. And remember people, smoking kills, vaping saves lives. Which do you choose? I'll catch you again real soon, yeah? Have a good one.